Hey everybody, it's Steve with Sky194, and I appreciate you taking the time to visit and check out my video. Going double file. And we're back here in LFM, Low Fuel Motorsports in the Coach Dave uh, Sprint Series here at Watkins Glen. I'm in the Hurric uh, Huracan Evo GT3 car, qualified sixth. Not doing too, uh, I've had a couple bad outings with LFM, so I'm still struggling in the middle of the splits. I'm in a lower split. But it's still, these guys are tough. Uh, like I said, qualified six out of 30. There's 30 uh, drivers in here. There's like seven or eight splits or something. I don't, I don't know. There's a lot of them. Let's see if we can have a decent race. Green light, green light. Go, go, go. Low down pressure. Stay away from curbs. Alright, don't take that. gap behind me that's good couldn't ask for any better start Are still coming up to temperature. better than that.
better. Tires are coming up to temperature. Save. Trying to be patient. Again, I need to finish. Not, you know, really do.
wide there, though, in turn one. Yellow flag in sector one. I was on the brakes early and everything, too. My fault, though. Should have braked even earlier, I guess. At least I didn't wreck them, so that's good. hard to get around somebody or be so close. Guess I'm not to get aggressive.
away a little bit from this BMW. He's on me. Catching the guys in front. Dang it. Either break it too early or break it too late. Cars look perfect. As close as they can get, anyway. Yeah, you guys fight it out. Come on, fight it out. Oh, yeah, that was really bad. I must have just barely caught the curb.
And I think they're behaving now because I'm catching them. Ow, not again! Car on the right. Clear on the right. Dang it! Last lap, there'll be no one more. Oh, I blew that one. What oh, is dang? He is really good through there. I'll just bring it home when somebody makes a mistake. He's all over that AMG. Oh man, what a race. 
Looks like a little drainage here. <laughs> Water drainage. Oh, man. Oh, man. That was a good race. Should have been better, though. Yep. I should have had a fourth or fifth easy. And I just, I blew it. <laughs> I just flat blew it. You know, I mean, no, no excuses. Just messed up in a few places and that's all it takes. You know, that's it. So, um, we'll go ahead and come back to this, come back to the track and we'll go over the data and see what we can, what we can adjust, what we can do. And, and of course, uh, show you the setup. So uh, we'll be right back in just a millisecond. Look at all them cars. And just giving you some bonus uh, coverage here. <laughs> That's what I'll call it. Um, it's only going to be just this few corners. Uh, but again, this was an LFM. Um, I tried to do a race in LFM and uh, it was raining again at Spa. Um, you probably thought it was a, the U.S. competition server, but no, this is actually, uh, of course, I was in the Porsche there. This is the Huracan. Um, and, but the rain wasn't real bad. It was just like normal rain, uh, not really in any puddles. So I qualified 6th or 7th or something. You know, nothing real bad. Um, 37 cars, I think, was in the field. 37. That's a big old, that's huge. But anyway, I just wanted to show you this one corner. Um, we get up here, and I got a good start. And you see there's two Hondas. There's a Honda right up in front of me, a couple cars. Well, you see right there, he bumped. This orange Honda bumped this, I guess you can call it pink. Uh, just barely, I mean, just barely touched him. Um... Matter of fact, so so light, I don't even think I put a mark on the back. I think it's, it's more of the splitter. And it just put him in a really slow uh, spin or, you know, losing control. You know, obviously, you don't take much. It's rain in the end. You're turning, and you'll see what happens. Every check's up. And there I am. I'm in the middle of the whole thing. So, again, I didn't really know where to go. Um... And we'll take a look behind here to get a better view. You see, he's barely, just barely, and he loses it. And he tries to catch it, and then it comes back, and then I just had nowhere to go. And I get hit from every way, get hit multiple times. Everybody's getting stacked up, so I'm you know, afraid to move, but I just wanted to get out of the way, and they're still getting hit. So, again, it was just a big mess. So, anyway... Um, that's why I had some problems. I mean, I still finished the race. Um, I finished way down near the bottom, though. But I had to come in. I wrecked one more time. And then came in and fixed all the damage. And went back out and just finished the race. So, but I still, that's, you know, losing some points and things like that. So, not good. Um, but... Again, just wanted to show you that so we can, you know, we'll show the, go to the LFM uh, homepage after we go over the setup. Alrighty. Well, I'm back here at Watkins Glen and uh, let's go over the setup. I'll load it in. Um, this is the one here. No, this is the one here. All right. Now, I changed a few things that I liked, that I really liked, which still need to work on it because I still, you got to turn the wheel. By the end of the race, you got to turn the wheel so hard. I really don't like that. Um, and I got the I got the steering ratio all the way down, one of the negatives. Um, but I'll give you this here, and you can decide what you would like to do. Um, but yeah, 
basically I got 24 left front, 24 seven left rear, 24 eight right front, and 25 six right rear. The toes are negative 0.1 with the camber at negative 3.6 on the left front, negative 3.4 on the right front, and the caster at 12. The toe is a positive uh, 0.1 with the camber at negative 2.8 on the left rear and negative 2.7 on the right rear. Now, basically, um, I went ahead and you can go down a couple clicks here on this negative camber. Um, that's what I liked in the race, and I'll probably do some more looking at it, but that's what I, that's what I liked. Um, but maybe I'll work on my steering and see if I can get it to shorten up a little bit or something. I got to try something because it's just turning. I, 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 it bothers me when I got to turn it so far. It's just turning too much on some of those turns near the end. In the beginning, it's not so bad, but as the end of the race gets, it just gets worse and worse. Electronics is three and three. Fuel, of course, I had 53 liters. Number one brake pad. Mechanical, I had six on the anti roll bar. Brake bias is 53. Um, you can go down to like 51. Steering's all the way down. Springs on the front are 190,000 with a bump stop rate of 600 and a bump stop range of 3. And on the rear, the springs are 164,000 with a bump stop rate of 800 and a bump stop range of 15. Any roll bar is 6 and the preload on the diff is 100. Shocks are 10, 10. Well, let me, let's look at Motec because that's what um, I have not done. So let's look at Motec together. And let's see. I got a 45.29. That's what I qualified. That was qualifying. Um, in the race. Yeah, see, it was really dropping at the end. Or some of those are my mistakes. So it's not, you know, all just the car. But yeah, it looks about the same. But we'll go off of this. Um, let's see. We got 50. So that's a little high. It's 50.9, like 51.5. So this needs to come down. There we go. Bring this back down. And then this here is 47, uh, 8, 48 something. So this can come up actually a little bit. Um, actually, I'd say that right there. So we'll go with the fast bump here. Um, 51, 7, and 48, 49. So again, about the same. Same things on this side. And down here we got 49.9, so it's a little over 50, so that needs to come down. That's 50 point, 51. So they're, again, they're both about the same. They both need to come down. So there we go. And then this side's 49.3, and this side is 48.49. So they're not too bad, though. Those actually don't look too bad. This is a little off. That's a little... Don't like that. So we'll we'll just make a small adjustment there. Um, there, we'll just make a small adjustment. So that's that. So let's go over the shocks. And we got 10, 12, 15, and 34 on the front. And 12, 16, 17, and 30 on the rear. Arrow got 56 in the front, 61 in the rear with a seven wing and a two and a two in the brake ducts. And the front arrow variation is a 4.2. Now, I had an eight wing and 62 in the race. I was trying that. Um, I don't know. I don't really. I don't. I, th I think it was good in the beginning, but then it, later on, it actually started to understeer too much. So, what I would rather do is leave it where it was like this um so we're you know like i said i'll go leave it like that because i think it was better now i did try it six wing also and it, it was a little bit too loose there it was getting a little bit too loose qualifying that's why i didn't qualify and you can you can do it in qualifying so if you want to go down one you can do that 
But I just I don't I don't think I do it in a race because it just you just no way you'd be slipping and sliding by the, you know time you had to go into pits for tires you you would be really drop you drop off a lot so that's just my opinion but anyway um there's a setup and of course i'll make it a link in the description and of course now let's, let's go over to lfm and see how we do all righty or here we are at uh, an lfm so let's go ahead and go down and and check it there was six splits i was in four um, again, not that great. Not really where I want to be. And again, I got 15 points. So that's because you know, I wasn't thinking about it. But every time I was going out, I was getting the point, getting something. That's right. So I got to remember that in the future, even though you're not getting the out of bound or you know you're not getting a a uh, warning, track warning. You're still I'm still getting something against me. So I got to I get I really to be honest, I forgot about that. But I was pushing so hard, trying to make up time. So I got it, but I got to really remember that. That hurt me because I only got .01 on my safety rating and only got 65 on my ELO. So my ELO is terrible. So we're at 12.51 for my ELO and 6.13 for my safety rating. So again, just kind of hovering around. Um, again, I showed what had happened to Spa. So again, I mean, both this is okay, but again, I should have I should have finished at least fourth or fifth, but. You know, that was just my fault. Nobody to blame but me. And, um, of course, you know, Spa, uh, I did last night. That was just one of those things. You know, wrong place, the wrong time. I'm not really, you know, blaming anybody. It's just bad timing. You know, I just, hopefully I can get some, you know, good breaks. And sometimes you get, you know, good breaks. Sometimes you don't. So hopefully, I, you know, my good breaks are coming. And uh, I'll miss some, you know, those spins or whatever. So, um, I mean, I was lucky I probably didn't wreck, to, you know, in this race. So that's a good thing there anyway. So at least I finished and got a sixth. But I keep working at it. Keep trying to do better. Um, I'm, I might try to do another spa again. Um, you know, I really, I like, I like spa even though it's not the greatest track for me. But I still like it. It's a fun, fun track. Um, so, you know, it might be another spa that I can get in with LFM before it's done. Hopefully. But I got a big event coming up. And it'll be coming up really soon, so I sure hope um, kind of a surprise event is coming up. And I hope you all check that out um, uh, and keep uh, your bell notifications on so you're notified when new videos coming out, but it's something that's new. So, again, uh, I hope you give me a like and subscribe. It helps support the channel and, you know, also got PayPal and, of course, this the link for the setup will be in the description if you want to try it out. Um, again, I think it's pretty solid. Um, I'm always trying to work on just fine tuning them and trying to make it a little bit better and, you know, keep the drivability there. So I sure hope, uh, you enjoy it and you enjoyed the video and I hope you come back really soon. Y'all take care. See ya.